guys we are back with some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot DLC 4 this is the final ultimate end whatever you want to call it part for DLC 4 before we jump on to DLC 5 we are here with the after the end story uh, the post story should I call it after we complete the main story we now get to take a part in a small story with Prince Vegeta I, I'm not gonna lie I can't wait <laughs> It sounds so cool. I did check out some of the stuff that we also unlocked, like Top Battle and Rewind, which is, I mean, replay so we can go back and do the story again. But everything seems to be pretty much standard to what the previous DLCs have been beforehand. So we're going to go jump straight into the Prince of Duke story. Before I do that, thank you so much for the love and support you guys have been showing me. It has been incredible. Keep doing what you're doing with the liking and subscribing. Like I say, you guys kill it every single time. If we can blow expectations out of the water, by the end of this year then I, I i can't wait for a positive and even better 2024 you guys have been amazing so far let's keep pushing and potentially look for even more and greater series and this current drag ball c uh kakarot dlc um series that we've got going on is, is actually been fantastic but yeah let's go on prince vegeta let's see what we've got to do examine start prince prince vegeta story yes i'm not gonna wait any longer Prince Vegeta of Planet Vegeta. His exceptional power level has earned him the respect of not only his fellow Saiyans, but also that of the Frieza Force. However, little does he know what fate has in store for him. This is the beginning of that story, one part of a larger tale. Okay, go ahead and begin your training. Come. And try not we to actually me. get to fight as Prince Vegeta. Hey, listen, I did not expect this, but we are level 30 as a child. I started off with Bardock and he was like, what, level 20? Prince Vegeta built different. Please tell me you got like Big Banger Tank or, or, or something that I could use right now. You've got a Gallic gun. It's a promising gun. Oh, Vegeta, you're actually a G. You're actually a G. Uh, let me try Gamma Ray first. Okay. Let's try... I, I want to try all his moves, because this is kind of different. Oh, wow. I really did not expect this. It's Cyber Connect 2. Always blow my expectations out of the war. They did it with Demon Slayer. They did it with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And they've done it with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I cannot actually wait for more. Like we got DLC five next. If they keep blurring our expectations out the wall, what 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 can we expect from DLC five? Hey, whoa 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 whoa! This is I'm the prince. Oh, promising us. I'm not gonna lie, Prince Vegeta is actually quite fun in comparison to some of the people I've used. He's a bit more like agile and, and quick, which probably could. Oh, we did get an S rank. <gasps> Oh, okay, well, at least we leveled up twice. What the hell, man? Yeah. <gasps> How? Those are the best Cybermen we have! <laughs> Better get some new ones, then. That was child's play for Prince Vegeta. What a terrifying child. I'm done here. Hurry and open the gate. Y yes, sir. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Spare me the ass kissing. I'm not getting any stronger on a dump like this. Maybe I'll convince Frieza to assign me another planet he's planning on conquering. Uh, another one? Hmm? <laughs> Hey there, Vegeta. More training today, huh? Guess a pampered brat like you's got nothing better to do. What? <laughs> You're one to talk, Kui. You've got time to bother me, after all. <laughs> Always got something to say, don't you? 
And here I was ready to spar with you. Spar with me? Are you serious? Yeah, I am. Uh, you haven't heard words going around that me and you are rivals. They say it's because our power levels are about even. <laughs> yeah, right. There's no way a tactical genius like me could ever be compared to a spoiled Saiyan prince. <laughs> spoiled? You got any idea who the hell you're talking to? I'm talking to Vegeta, not his meathead lackey. <sighs> well, you want to settle this rivalry of ours and find out who's better? All right, then. B but Prince Vegeta, you just went through your training. Don't care. That was nothing more than a warm-up. Besides, this goon could use a bit of a handicap anyway. <laughs> Cocky little brat. All right. This is the last time you run that monkey mouth of yours. Uh, all systems are go. You can start at any time. <laughs> I might not be able to control myself. Better give up before you die. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Now then, oh my god. Listen, listen, I knew Kui Kui was like pretty strong. Considering that we oh no, we actually demolished him on the crack one. Hold on, hold on. If we can beat him, we're gonna get a crazy amount of XP, right? That's gonna be the goal. I'm surprised we even put up on a, a, put up a fight. Come on. I need to make up for the fact that I got an A rank. Okay, 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 okay. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. No, 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 don't catch me. Come on, Prince Vegeta. Getting caught in the wrong place. This is gonna annoy me. Cause I'm actually trying to get an S rank here, guys. I'm just not like I've even playing worse here. It just, just for the sake of it. I'm actually trying. But let's piss me off. Come on. Quick, quick, stop being annoying. All I'm doing is dodging right now, and we we've actually lost quite a bit of health. I need to check if I got any iron. I actually do. Nice. From Bardock. Come on. What else we got? Uh, Prominence Rush I've used quite a few times. Let me... Oh no, I'll use it again after I broke his... his uh, I stunned him. I broke his shield. Hold on. I was going to use the Gamma Flash or Gamma Ray or whatever it's called. Don't know what that was. I think it's because we were so close to the camera. We could actually see what Gamma Ray burst or whatever it was called. Oh, okay. It's like, an, it's like Final Ex <laughs> It was like the, the, the pre-version of Final Explosion when he was a kid. It just doesn't do as nowhere near as much damage okay we don't have a stun break move which is really annoying come on we're literally like oh, two combos away from finishing him come on finish 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 yes give me an s rank I probably won't get one, but give me an S rank. Oh, wow. I'm looking embarrassed. Two A ranks. After Bardock, we S rank the whole thing. This can't be. How can a brat like you be this powerful? Because I've been training constantly. Even if I'm up against peons like Cybermen, I train just to get a little stronger. I haven't been sitting on my ass all this time like you. You're my inferior. Accept it. 
whatever. I'll let this slide just this once. I knew you were tired from your training, so I went easy on you. Next time, though, you're dead. No special treatment. Got it? <laughs> Next time, huh? Why not right now? <laughs> I've got a job to do, that's why. I can't be wasting my time with you. But remember this, little prince. Your days are numbered. P pardon me, but are you two finished? Shut up! Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> well, <laughs> glad that's over with. He was running his mouth, so all I did was put him in his place. <laughs> I bet he's pissing himself. Now that he knows how tough we Saiyans are. He may be a blowhard, but he's not a pushover. He'll be stronger next time we meet. And I'm counting on that, to be honest. I plan to use him to better myself. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't be wrong to call him a rival after all. Oh, right! A clever idea, Prince Vegeta! I hadn't thought of that. Um, Prince Vegeta? What is it? We received word during your training earlier that your next target has been decided. Perfect timing. Now I can actually have some fun. Finally, some action! Would you like to leave right away? If so, I can give the word. No, I've got business to take care of first. Business? Business with who? What do you want? Yeah, what are you doing here? See, this ain't no place for chumps like you, you know. I'm here to pay my respects to Lord Frieza before I depart. There's no need. Just head to the target planet. I don't mind, Zavon. Sorry, Lord. Vegeta, I trust you'll do me proud. I will, thank you. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. <laughs> what did Lord Frieza say? He said he trusts us to do him proud. <laughs> do him proud, huh? Well, that shouldn't be too much of a problem for me and you. <laughs> He still has the upper hand, but not for long. Understood. Prepare for launch. Now then, how should we go about our attack? Just look at the sheer numbers they've gathered in one place. Not that their power levels are anything special. I see. Hmm. I'm getting readings in a few other spots. Maybe we ought to strike there. Scatter their forces, you know? Hmm. Fine. Looks like we'll have to split up. Nappa, you take the other side. Wh what? But, but we, uh, won't be able to have each other's backs that way. There's no need. We'll just push through on our own. Oh, okay. If you end up dying here, that'll just show you never had much skill to begin with. I don't need Saiyans who go down so easy. You got that? Yep, yes, sir. I think it's time we got started. Listen up! No holding back! Put Saiyan power on full display! Move out! Got it! Well, well, Yo, you know Vegeta is actually party. so cold. You know? Vegeta was like, hey, listen, no. We, we, we gotta put our whole power on display. Otherwise, I don't need you because you're too weak. 
this is where the sub quest was. you know when we finished the main story i got a sub uh sub quest notification defeat the aliens in the sea okay it doesn't come up okay you know what let me Oh, this in general is a sub quest. Let me take these on. Anyway. Let's take these lots on. I guess this is a way to get XP. Now then, how about we exterminate the pests around here? No need to stand on ceremony. All of you attack me at once. Masha! I'll blow you all to itty bitty pieces. One thing that I did want to mention, before, like as we was going into this, was that I was really impressed with the way. Think about it. Vegeta was already plotting against Freezer from when he was a kid. He knew, listen, this guy needs to go for uh, you know, the. I guess for Vegeta's safety in terms of, well, I mean, Planet Vegeta, not Vegeta, but for Planet Vegeta to prosper, I guess, because because Freezer was taking over everyone and everything. Uh, you, know, you know what, Vegeta, you're smart, man. You're a lot smarter than me when I was a kid. Damn, he's strong too. Or maybe these guys are just weak, I don't know, but uh, uh, Prince Vegeta got some, some crazy powers. 280! I didn't see that in the corner. Damn, okay. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see how much we had to actually take on. But I really like this little touch that they've made with the Prince Vegeta side story. If this is the excuse for not making Bardock's story a bit longer, okay, fine. I'll take it for now. But I still would have wished that we got way more out of this. took up quite a few of them. I might, I might need to do that more often. Oh, okay. We use way too much key for me to just, yeah, that's cool. Makes sense. Let's see how many we can do with these, and then the, the sub quest is probably, like I said, the main city. And then I think we'll probably be level 40 by the way. Wait, wait. Ask Bardock, I'll, I'll be a bit ashamed. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I, I'm gonna enjoy myself for a minute here. <laughs> Let me see if I can get to level two. On um, okay, well, one more should do it to level two. There we go. Actually, you know what? Forget. It. We're, we're gonna try go to level three on the Z blast to actually see how much people we can actually take on. Perfect. You know what? I'm looking for a strong opponent so I can actually use uh, the what was it? Prominence rush. That's what I wanted. No, it's not you <laughs> right now. I don't know why he sent Nappa away. Like I can't understand. Like Vegeta's attitude and personality, it makes hundred. It, it makes sense. It makes sense, people. But I really. Oh wait. Let me check this out. I really wanted to see them to fight as a pair. How many people? Ah, uh, a hundred. It's level three. A hundred thirty-two. One forty-one. You know what? I take it. Exactly what I want. Next time I'll wait until level three because I'm not wasting my time with these chunks. Whoever. Oh, okay, we. I, I was literally about to use prominence rush, but I, I guess I, I finished them too quick. But they're probably gonna be another one up here. Uh, I can't. He's, uh, it's 112. Hold on. There we go. No, no, no. We're probably gonna finish this up, and there's two more. I don't know if I want to up up. This is 280 alien. So, I'm kind of worried for how many are in the city. If I went for the city straight away, I probably would have been there fighting like 10 minutes. So, if I can reduce that, I'm going to. Oh, wow. Literally, last one. Last two. I'll do it. Oh, Z, you know, Z, why am I going to waste my time? Z Blast. Z Blast. Z Blast should be able to finish them. I don't know if it will let me. Go on. It should. It, I don't know why there's two enemies when there's only one left apparently. That doesn't make any sense. To me. It doesn't take him down. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Still. That doesn't do much damage at all. Oh my days. Come on. Let's get in a combo. I want to use Prominence Rush. Uh, but I'm going to finish with Gallic Gun. Ooh. 
I'm gonna say two levels. 36. 35. You know, okay, you know, I'll take up a level per per base or whatever you want to call it. Where is the actual thing? Huh. A fifth. Be the last of them. I see. Okay. Well, if we find any enemy bases, we better wreck them good. Okay, I got one on the left. Okay, behind me, there's two. Let's see how many of these. Wait, these ones got 230, 180. Okay, okay, okay. So I actually took on the most straight away. So it will get a little bit quicker each time we do this. I won't leave a single one of them breathing. Sasha! <laughs> you think your numbers will give you a chance against me? Witness the unstoppable power of a super elite of the Saiyan race! This oh, I'm not. I'm actually really liking this whole Prince Vegeta story. As much as I wanted to see Super Saiyan Bardock, I think we all wanted to see Super Saiyan Bardock. Uh, I still think Prince Vegeta is a very nice. If I had to choose, I would still probably go Super Saiyan Bardock. But you know what? Prince Vegeta fun too. It's fun. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna get to level three on the Z Blast again because I'm not really trying to waste time. I'm trying to get this done nice and quick. Come on. I've never seen these long tailed aliens, so I kind of like the fact that they've made these aliens for the Prince of Jesus story. I might be wrong because I have never re uh, read the manga and I never looked too in depth into the Prince of Jesus story. I know we've got a little snippet. When it came to the Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Broly movie, which is sick, the latest one uh, before Superhero with uh, Gohan's Beast form, another sick thing out there. Oh, we got level three already. Hold on, let me just do that real quick. Uh, I really like that Broly movie. In hands down, has to be the best movie I've seen Dragon Ball Z wise. Dragon Ball wise, he's not super. You know, you know what I'm talking about, people. I really enjoy that Broly. We got a little hint at Raditz when he was small, Nappa with hair, Prince Vegeta when he was small. But the story of Bardock is technically different now with that. Like, it's not the same. It doesn't follow the same story as this one. So, it is a bit different. But regardless, this Vegeta is probably based on that one. Even though the Bardock is based on the old Bardock, um, Father of Goku episode. Okay, he, this, this guy can actually take the hit. Uh, let me get that done. Nice. Oh, you're still here. Okay, now I think I took down one of the stronger enemies, and this is the second one. I could probably finish the majority of them with a level 2 Z Blast, so that's what I'm probably going to do. Okay, now I've got level 2. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Please, please take me to at least 220. I'm not really trying to do too, too much. Like, I did promise you guys a shorter part. I didn't expect the last part to be as short as it was. Is that the end? Yeah, okay, okay, last one. I, I could do 1v1. That's perfect. There we go. No, yeah, yeah, finish your combo. You ain't gonna do nothing. Um, yeah, as I was saying. I believe that this Prince Vegeta is based off the one from that uh, the latest Broly movie, and the Bardock is is different, but I still believe it's it, 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 uh, it's a nice touch. Necessary is a strong word because I still would have liked to see more Bardock, Super Saiyan Bardock, whatever. But um, it is what it is. They didn't fare any better. We'll clean this place up real nice before. Now, of the DLCs that you guys know of, even potentially the. The last one that we're gonna do. Don't spoil it. You know. uh, what do you call it? What would you like to see for another DLC for Kakarot? I think there's so much potential. Well then, time to mop the floor with you. Yes, yeah. Well, well, you've all finally decided to show up. Make this fun for me. Okay, last one, and then we're finished. Uh, as I was saying, what DLCs would you like to see in Kakarot? I think there are so many ideas. I think the movies is a great one. 
So if they're gonna do old stuff like old school stuff like this, Bardo, um, if you know what DLC five is, uh, which we're gonna be playing next, is actually Dragon Ball DLC, not Z, not Super. It's Goku uh, when before Z hits. You didn't know what you were saying. And Piccolo is actually the bad guy. So pretty cool. Uh, but I think that's a really nice touch. I think movies, of course, goes to show there's so many Dragon Ball Z movies with potential. Like the Cooler, the Cooler movie, I think Cooler is one of the sickest concepts of an evil character in Dragon Ball. And I would like him to become part of the, the universe, like properly, not just a movie character. Like they did with the Broly movie. The cooler one should come now. Uh, I think that's what's needed. Well, let's get this level 3 Z last in. I think the Bojack movie, amazing. I love Gohan in that movie, so sick. Uh, what else? Tapion's not bad, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. Like Tapion ain't my favorite character. Like Tapion's hard. Don't get me wrong. Where Trunks gets his sword from, but like there's there's loads of ifs and buts. But depending on how they're trying to link this, you could do the Goku Black Art. That's cool. Um, tour uh, the universe um, tournament arc would also be cool introduce some more super characters uh what else could we do let's finish with that oh, i'm trying to think what else could we well, what we could cyber connect do okay nice yeah yeah man yeah yeah you're strong um there's quite a bit of potential what it would be i don't know uh, i can't exactly say myself uh, because I'm not the biggest Dragon Ball Z nerd or fan. Like I said, I, lo I, I got love for Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super. But my knowledge kind of is on different series. <laughs> you guys probably know that already. Um, but still, I'm trying to think. Like I said, Kula, the Bojack movie, uh, Goku Black was probably the ones that I'd probably go for first. If they had options, like if they had to narrow it down, those are the ones that I would do straight away. I wouldn't even hesitate. I'll do it straight away. Um, but that's what that, that's what I could really say right now. Unless they give us an option to like, can't really get. Oh, I lied. There's more Dragon Ball GT. If they gave us Super Saiyan Four, uh, yes, I'm ready. Well, wait, well, let me finish what I'm saying. <laughs> Super Saiyan Four, Omega Shenron. Gogeta, oh Gogeta, because we've only got Vegeta. We could even do the Janemba movie, the Fusion Reborn. Oh my days! There's so much more. It's all clicking to. It's coming to be. It, it took a minute. It's coming to me, but you know what? <laughs> Let's put it on a side note. Let's get straight into this fight and see what we got. Trash sure loves to clump together, doesn't it? Once we crush them here, this planet will be ours. <laughs> Guess they know it's pointless to flee. Time for some fun. I'll give you a uh, Vegeta still knows his trash talk from his Oh, we still got 300. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. If we've got 300 here, how many was we going to take on if we didn't do the uh, the bases? Damn. That, that's crazy to me. That is actually insane. Uh, I didn't want to take on a thousand enemies. It would have been funny too. I'm not gonna lie, it would have been funny. Uh, but not not for long. I would have given up at some point. Even though I've taken on a thousand enemies before. In DLC 2, Freezer Resurrection F, we had the horde battles. There was a mode where you could do a constant horde. And that was the previous way to like, live what? To like 300. It was the kind of go to way. And I did that. So yeah, yeah. That, that definitely wasn't fun. Let's see how many we can take down. It's got 300. We're at 39. I'm going to say a minimum of 150. 150 to 180. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh, I'm way off. I'll take 120 because we're already past the halfway mark, but still. Not exactly what I want. Really, no? Oh, he's the same level as us. Okay, so. Oh, I forgot to check if Vegeta had any moves. I don't think so. I don't think they would have done that for this Vegeta. Uh, let's get back and do Gallic Gun. Oh, there's another one. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to do Gallic Gun, but you're all getting in the way and it's pissing me off. 
Yeah, 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 let's finish you with this. Uh, before we got into the subquest, I actually got on to some very cool suggestions for the next few DLC that is a potential. And I got to Jangle GT. Now, GT has a lot. I just mentioned the Mega Shen one, Super Saiyan 4. Super Saiyan 4 go Gita. You've also got. That reminded me of the Fusion Reborn movie with Janemba to get that go Gita. Then you've also got Baby, who's a very crucial uh, bad boss uh, or villain, uh, I guess you could call it, in that GT. There's also Super Android 17. There's actually quite a bit, you know, there's quite a bit that you could do with Dragon Ball GT, which is cool, which I like. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I could give me a hundred and I can finish like the last ten. I don't mind that. <laughs> I'm not really trying to fight more than ten. Uh, what's the number? What's the number? What's the number? We get a uh, hundred. Okay, cool. That's exactly what I wanted. There's only three left. I think they're all going to be the stronger enemy types as well. So, you know what? Perfect. Let me charge. I haven't done this yet. Oh, but gee, you look so cool. Because you're small as well. Okay, bonus rush, pretty good. Okay, at least I got you. It would have been a waste if I didn't get anyone. Okay, finish him. And we can move on to the guy that we have next. Come on. There we go. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Gamma Ray Burst, come on. Don't do much. Does not do much. I can't finish you with that either. Prince Vegeta. Do more, man. Should be doing more. Oh, but after like listing out all the potentials for future DLC, it's actually excited me for what's to come. I don't think they're going to be doing the Dragon Ball Kakarot again, like number two. I don't see what's the point. Unless you're trying to uh, invest in Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and then other stuff, there's no point. You might as well just do a DLC like they've been doing, and that should cover the majority of stuff that you need. That's not a level up. Okay, I'm actually shocked, people. Shocked. Very shocked. Nappa, status report. Oh, all right. I'm still fighting, but I've wiped out about 80% of them. Got it. Give them hell to their bitter end. I'm almost done here. You got it. Now die. That's all of them. Guess it's time to report back to Prince Vegeta. Huh? A message from the Frieza Force? That's new. Never been contacted by them before. Nappa here. Yeah, of course I can hear you. Uh, Prince Vegeta, can you hear me? What is it? I, uh, I just got a transmission from Lord Frieza. He said, somehow planet Vegeta's just vanished without a trace. Oh, and what? I guess it was taken out by a giant meteor or something. I can't believe it. Only a few Saiyans are left, including us. Huh, and what? Oh, oh uh, well, that was it. This planet's about done for, too. I need to ask Lord Frieza for another to conquer. One more challenging. The true reason for Planet Vegeta's destruction would remain unknown for some time. Though Vegeta had his own unvoiced suspicions, he would continue to seek more power and commit himself to a life of fighting. Eventually, his path would come to odds with two others. Frieza, the evil tyrant, and Kakarot, the low-class warrior raised on Earth.
you can now fight long-tailed aliens in advanced training ground. Oh, that was such a sick side story. I really enjoyed myself there. If I could use Prince Vegeta again, I would. Wait, if I click examine. Oh, I can. I wouldn't mind replaying that. That it was so cool. Listen, our episode has run on a bit longer than I'd like. However, we have now finished DLC 4 complete at 100%. Thank you so much for following Bardock Story along in our DLC series. We have now reached the point where we can hit DLC 5, the most current DLC in the Kakarot series. And then we'll be moving on to something else. But guys, please look forward to DLC 5. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed Bardock as well as Prince Vegeta in DLC 4. But this is your boy G2K. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And you're going to see DLC 5 next time.